lot has happened in the past week. Uh, they're all COVID-19 related, almost. But there are life lessons to be learned, especially in a medical crisis like this. So, welcome to the Diaries. Brought to you by Spartan Hands. Use my promo code to get 10% off your order. Link and promo code in the description below. A while ago on the show It Bulaga, it's a portion of the Bawal Judgmental. One of the um, one of the one of the ones being uh, it's going to be judged. Okay said an old cliche that goes like this quality education is a right not a privilege when was the last time i heard that first year of high school <laughs> mid 80s <laughs> my god here's a fact nowadays okay the way uh, I've, I've seen in the last few years, since the K-12 program was uh, was implemented here in my country, dito sa, dito sa Pilipinas. Education is neither a right nor a privilege. It's a choice. Okay? Yung mga nagsasabi na nag-stop ako sa pag-aaral dahil financial eh. Uh, nagstop ako sa pag-aaral dahil nabuntis ako eh. <laughs> yung mga ano. Nagstop ako sa pag-aaral dahil maaga ako nag-asawa eh. Like I said a while ago, education is a choice. You have that choice always to pursue your education. Right? Now, with the advent of course of the K-12 program, you're now uh, you're now faced with a more lenient choice. Either maghanap buhay ka na right after high school or proceed to college and pursue further education. There's always a choice, especially education. Okay? So don't give me those excuses, all right? Financial is not a problem. Um, getting married or having a child is not a, it's should not be a problem okay tell you frankly so I repeat education is neither a right nor a privilege it's a choice so to all those who are about to graduate within the next three months uh, within the next three months April, uh, March April or, or even May or even June right you have that choice. But you must make that choice now. Not in six months, not in three months, not after you've partied hard after graduation. No. You must make that choice now. So I repeat. Education is neither a right nor a privilege. It's a choice. A few hours ago, I've uh, <clears throat> I've announced here on LinkedIn that I've well, I've returned to MySpace. Okay. Why did I do that? Number one reason. Up to now, I'm still locked out of Facebook. Okay. I'm still locked out of Facebook. Uh, excuse me. I'm still locked out of Facebook for um, for their reason that I was spamming. Okay, the only the only spamming I did was to share a link about an anime to certain anime groups that I am actually a member of. How did that become spamming? How did that become spamming? <clears throat> now compared to um, compared to Facebook. 
MySpace uh, has become more creator friendly over the past few years. I've been, I used to have an account on MySpace during the um, early to late 2000s. Okay, this was pre Facebook days. Facebook wasn't as uh, wasn't as popular then. It was it was either Friendster or MySpace? Okay, I was I had an account on MySpace, but <clears throat> it wasn't creator friendly then. Meaning uh, you can't post uh, can't post it, the the videos you may you may post videos, but they're not as good. Okay, photos they're not as good either. But recently, but when I went back to uh, MySpace's website, and I saw, wow, okay, baka rito. <laughs> so I opened an account, I opened a new account, and boom, there it is. Um, they got tools for creators, okay, and most of the members there are creators. Budding music artists, uh, actors, even bloggers, okay? even bloggers. So I got a chance to promote my content uh, more effectively than Facebook. Okay. <clears throat> and besides, um, Facebook is not creator friendly, despite having the tools for it. Right. If you post, if you natively post a video there. It's not going to. It's not going to do as well, right? You might as well go. You might as well post that on YouTube, right? It will do better. You might post it here on LinkedIn. It'll do better. It'll get views. It'll get views. You might even want to post. You might. You might be better off posting that on Twitter, right? It'll. It will get views. I posted. I natively posted some entries to the diaries, and it did not do well zero actually it got zero views and i've been observing on i've been observant on facebook uh before before they locked me out that the audience is well totally unresponsive of whatever whatever worthwhile content i've posted if it's something trivial yan May response sila. Okay? May response sila. <clears throat> yeah, you could say that um it's a boring audience. Okay? Because they don't know good content when they see one. Okay? The, uh, the Facebook audience. They don't know good content when they see one. They would they rather they would rather believe in fake news generated by Facebook. Okay, they automatically believe if it's when it's when it's from Facebook, they automatic they automatically believe the news, although although it can be fake. <laughs> All right. So well, that's the reason why I um, why I'm back on MySpace. Okay, now for you guys who are on LinkedIn. I'm going to leave that link in the comments below, so that you can, so that you can easily uh, click on it, All right? So that's why. So well, <clears throat> MySpace is more content friendly, it's more creator friendly than Facebook. Okay, trust me. I've been on I've been on both social platforms. I've been on both social platforms and that's why I went back to my space over Facebook. I almost wasn't able to load up my grab pay today. Dahil naka problema yata sa kinin na first try ko dito sa 7-Eleven. But Tried it the second time. I had grab, I had grab issue another reference number, a more readable one, and did it to the cashier, and all is fine and good. All is fine and good. Okay. 
which leads me to this life lesson. I'm gonna get back to you as soon as I cross the street, okay? Now that I've crossed the street, <laughs> here's the life lesson about it, okay? Life is trial and error, okay? And so is, uh, and so is load of transactions. But, load of transactions can be a life lesson in itself. So, yun nga. If you don't repeat what you always do, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get what you want, right? You're not gonna get anything. So, <clears throat> that is the actual life lesson. Every, any aspect of your life is trial and error. Okay? Heard the news? The NBA has just suspended its games. Rudy Gobert tested positive for COVID-19. Ouch. The guy played in the All-Star game. But I don't think he... I don't think he hasn't gotten that yet before the All-Star game. Well, NBA is now suspended. Well, indefinitely. We'll just have to find other ways to, well, entertain ourselves. And there's always the net, YouTube. Now, I'm not going to hope anymore that um, I'll be going back to Facebook. So. The UN has just declared COVID-19 as a pandemic. Why? Well, less than 100 countries are now affected, including from where I am right now, the Philippines. I'm wearing a face mask, although I'm, I'm only in my garage, because I only remember three things when it comes to, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to health safety, comes to the safety of my health. Wear protective clothing at all times when outside the house. Stay healthy by eating healthy and avoiding public places as much as possible. Even before COVID-19, when I'm, when I'm on the streets of Metro Manila, I would avoid public places. So, those are my three tips for COVID-19. So the news is now out. <clears throat> Metro Manila will go under, will go on lockdown this Sunday. March 15. All right. Come to think of it, there are a lot of content creators living or working in Metro Manila. Well, if you're, if you have that mundane lifestyle of uh, getting, getting up early in the morning, uh, chowing down your breakfast, then going to work. Then going back, going back home from work, eat your dinner, then sleep, and you have that process repeated over and over again every day. With the lockdown, you are going to get bored. You're gonna, you're gonna bore yourself to hell, right? Here's what we content creators usually do when, well, or here's what we content creators might do. Once the lockdown, once the lockdown happens, okay. Now, I'm I don't live in Metro Manila, all right. I live outside. I mean, I'm in San Pedro Laguna. Okay, that's not Metro Manila anymore. But although Multinlupa City is our next door neighbor, that's Metro Manila. Now, if you're uh, if you're not living the the content creator life. Here's what you should do once the lockdown happens. Number one, do worthwhile things. Okay? If there is, well, if there's a room that needs to be cleaned or if the entire house needs to be cleaned, do it. All right? Uh, or like, um, well, if you plan on starting a YouTube channel, now now's the time, okay? You've got 30 days to do it. Okay, 
you got 30 days to think of a think of how to launch your YouTube channel or your social media account or that that which you're basically passionate about all right it's time it's time to monetize that all right you got a 30 day window to do it third tip do not engage in social media too much all right engaging in social media while at work is one thing but engaging in social media at all times of the day in the comfort of your own home is another right that can be more stress that may be more stressful for you because you got this boredom then you got all this negativity going on on social media right now because of COVID-19 right you don't need that stress inside your own home right so those are those are three basic tips from uh, from a content creator like me to you who's well living a regular life all right 